Hello and welcome to Tony D 300 G. This is going to be a channel for myself and for others to keep track of the progress of my 300 gallon tank to 10 feet by 2 feet by 2 feet. See the lights are going off. I decided to shoot a little video before they completely turn off. But I did get a couple new items, the Gorgonians over here, you see in the back. I've always had these mushrooms for the past few years. And the fish are hungry. So today I did some water testing. Alkalinity came at 9.3. Calcium 450. And magnesium. 1365. So, levels are pretty good to start putting some SPS corals in, which I do have a couple of frags down here in the bag still I gotta get to. Got a green Monty cap. And orange Monty cap. Does not show up on camera very good at all. And a green digitata. So I have to make a video on how they progress. There's my sump down here. Got a fuse down here. So like three different fuse sections. Got one down here, the grow light. Another one. Here. Got some dragon's breath way back here. And some other type of red algae. This is mostly a fish tank. I'm going to slowly progress it into being a easy reef tank. I want some softies. You can see I got this one, supposedly is a weeping willow. It was retracted because I've ticked off the tank. I move this stuff around. And some mushrooms. I tried recordias, but that guy, I think, likes to eat them. So I might not be able to put some, some zoas in there until their big mother colony. And that way, the more shell can just pick out a little bit. And yes, I've had this more shell for about five years now. I've had this Achilles tang. I've had it for one year this April. Those are my two favorite fish. I also have a angel fish in here somewhere. It's really timid. It likes to hide a lot. Let's see if I can get to come out with some some food. Put you guys down right here, like so. See if I can get them to feed for us. One second here. Like serving up here, Julian's flakes. Can't tell, it's my first YouTube video. Don't know how to work with the glare out. Where is that angelfish? There, there's a hippo tank over here too. It's already past their bedtime. You see this stack of rocks right here? I'm not proud of. I tried to make a shelf with this PVC piping. Obviously it didn't work out to my liking, so I'm going to redo that someday. Try to update everyone on that too. I really want to try and go for like a more minimalistic rock work, make it look more aesthetically pleasing, but also more room for the fish to swim back and forth. Achilles tank loves the length of the tank, loves to hit the surf on the power head, so I turn them all the way up. 
uses it like a roller coaster for him. Likes to dip, dodge, and dive around the rocks. And the puffer, well, he likes to eat all the algae that the tangs are supposed to eat. I'll show that in another video. This purple tang had a bad case of HLLE. I think due to some bad carbon I ran a couple years ago. But I started using a little bit of better carbon for BRS. I only use it maybe like once every six months. I'm gonna use it again because of water quality as you see. Starting to get foggy, kind of green. Probably do for a water change. I do have the infamous Tropic Marin. The box version, about 160 gallons worth that I bought from BRS. I used some in a frag tank I had, thinking if I do a 95% water change on it, all the frags would love it. But within about a day, it killed um, two large Monty Cap frags I had in there, as well as the mushrooms on these rocks for shriveling up and dying. I had to think quick and I just threw them down here in this fuge and within a few days they came back to life. Oh and the VTA also shriveled up. There was actually two of them but one of them decided to go way over here in between the crevice and I don't know where he went now. He decided he doesn't want to have light. But I've had fish tanks in the past since I was a kid. I used to have a beautiful 75 gallon reef tank that I would hand dose just using products from Petco. And it was really great looking little reef tank. I've had another 300 gallon in my life. They had sharks and stingrays in it. But uh, I got infected with Lars. Got lazy and got rid of them. But this one, oh, there's a regal angel. The regal angel's hiding over there, and so is Hippo Tang, or my kids love to call her Dory. Yeah, I know it's not Dory, but it's Dory here in the house. But definitely want to journey into making my own YouTube videos. As in the past, I never really took photos. If I did, they were just regular photos and never kept a log or a diary or anything like that. So this is kind of be my video log, which is why they call it a vlog, I guess. But my wife and kids are not in the house, so I decided today's the day. Let's go for a long version here. Oh, and one of the one of the photosynthetic gorgonas is timbered already back there. This is a purple one. It's holding on strong. I think I'm going to feed the puffer. This is my wife's puffer. I'm trying to get rid of it, but she won't let me. And uh, as Dr. Ian Malcolm would say, uh, uh, you know, um, life, uh, ooh, uh, yes, uh, ooh, life will find a, a way. I think that's why this puffer likes to out eat the, all the algae. And she's finding a way to survive with algae and not clams or shrimp. Uh, this is my regal angel. I've had the regal angel probably about two years now since this past December. Growing pretty slow, but the colors on it are awesome. I'll have one single radion on there because why well, put a ton of them on a tank can just create tons of algae problems. But that's why I have three different little fuge setups. You get on the right, I have some Calurpa prolifera, which I'll show in another video. It's nice green leafy one not the feathery one those ones used to always turn white on me and my other tanks they never crashed a tank i think that's one of the reasons why i had such a great reef tank in that 75 gallon tank was i had a lot of 
feather color pull that would help keep the nitrates low and suck up all the other nutrients. So in this middle one here, I have some two different types of red algae and more color of prolifera. In the back, you might see evidence of some mangroves. I bought three. It's like only maybe one's gonna survive. I have the worst luck with them. I don't know why. I used to have the worst luck with simple Kato or Chato. I think it's Kato. No, I think it's Chato. No, I think it's Kato. If you know how to pronounce it, put in the comments below. But I have a whole, it's probably almost, almost a volleyball size in there now. I used to never be able to grow that stuff. And I think the reason was because at one point I used Vibrant because I had a lot of hair algae. Because it was mostly a fish only tank. Vibrant did work, but it worked so well, I believe it killed all my chato that I was trying to grow. So I stopped that for about a year, and I slowly started getting some chato from local fish stores and other hobbyists. And all the other algae I got are from hobbyists around the town, here in the valley, in Tempe, Arizona. Go Suns, time to rally the valley. And that's the other thing is I'm trying to create a orange and purple kind of area for the Phoenix Suns, my favorite team. You can see I've got the orange mushrooms there, which I got about, oh, about four or five years ago when my daughter was turning one, I believe. And there used to be lots of different colors, but only the orange ones have survived, except for this other one right here. It's kind of purple with green-blue tips. And somehow they just slowly reproduce. But that's my goal, is to get some purple and orange. Also, again, with the orange Monty caps. Let me try to find some purple Monty. But that is my tank so far. It's good, bad, and the ugly. Let's say the middle is kind of good. This side is kind of bad. I've got my heater in the tank floating in there because it's been pretty cold here in the valley. I like to keep the windows open a little bit, but it's actually gotten below 40, around 38, 40 degrees at night. And the high is only about 60, 65. It's supposed to heat up this week though. So I might take that out. And all of these rocks were live, I bought as live rocks in fish stores. I'll make some episodes about all the different types of rocks I have that I've collected from stores and hobbyists. Of course, only the ones that are growing green algae are the man-made rocks, the newer ones. But all of these over here came from the ocean. But that's all I got for you right now. I wanted to keep it under 15 minutes. Looks like I've achieved that goal. The fish aren't swimming as gracefully right now. They're fighting over here. They usually swim as buddies, but typically it seems like the Morsh Idol and the Nace have been going at it, or the Achilles is definitely realizing he's getting bigger and he's going to be the boss of the tank. That's my dream fish. I've got lots of stories about him. He's probably the toughest Achilles thing I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, should probably be dead. I definitely tried to kill him, not on purpose, but he is the unsinkable Achilles tank. And now I don't need my fish because I think it's bad luck, so. All right, well, this is Tony D300G, initial YouTube video. Got lots of stories, lots of changes coming up. And uh, if you've watched this, appreciate your time.
going to be a fun journey. My wife, definitely my wife, she is uh, definitely supportive. Of course, she thinks it's a little bit too big. It can never be too big. And the kids love it. And hopefully it brings a little bit of inspiration to other people out there, too. All right. It's Tony D, 300G, signing off. See y'all next time.